King to the entrance pin at 310 and over to Kevin. And he is taking it kind of easy right now. He's not trying to get it as slow down as the 1918 and some of the other boats, but he's still not quite at full bore. 1918 will follow along in lane one right behind him and the 12 cutting across Esco Electric infield. Not gonna be able to get lane one out of it though. No, his good friend Jeff Bernard said, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Those two have been teammates. Those two, if you had a dollar for every heat they'd ever run together in every class, you'd be a wealthy individual. Now, does Jimmy King cut across the infield again in the Terminator? I think he's too early. Except the way he does it, who knows? Yeah, that's true. It's 2.30 right now. 40 coming off lane and dying right here in oh. front of me in turn two. And How far to get off the course, Kevin? He pushed it out pretty wide. He did. He tried to get out Good. as wide as he could. Um, it's, and the current might help him slightly keep him out there. All right, Jimmy's found the gas pedal now as he comes down with 210. Remember our number there, Michael? And he's got his foot in it. He does. So Jimmy King and the Terminator across Ooh. the Bosch Thermidor start finish line. Getting a little air underneath them, too, coming across the start finish. And you've got... Oh, cutting across the Ooh. infield. Yeah, that's a that's a really uh, exciting move. And right into the wake is Corey Peabody. Kings across the infield, too, down here. Came right up behind Jeff Bernard. <laughs> right. And now he's going to slide outside of Graham, the Graham Trucking, and J. Michael Kelly. Those are three, about the closest three friends you could pull together and stick out there in the race course. But Those here's your Jimmy King down. cutting across the infield. Yep. Yeah, he wants to join the other three, I think. Yeah. At a buck 20, 120. So I like where everybody sits. Bernard's in one. Now, will Jimmy King, will Jimmy King cut across again? Uh, he might do that. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's see. It's going to be tight if he does. He can go now. He does no, not. Not going to do it. No, nope. he'll just stick himself into lane three. So the 1918 will be in lane one. The 12 will be in lane two. I'd imagine the three ends up around lane three, and the 98 will be out in lane four. Dustin Eccles, unfortunately, uh, getting a close-up view of the park over here on the Pasco side. And Kevin, is he well off the course now? He is well off okay. the course. There is so we don't need space. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. 43 seconds. Boats are staged on the back stretch. It'll be the Super Salami, the 1918, with Jeff Bernard in lane number one. Graham Trucking. J. Michael Kelly, the 12 in lane number two. Jimmy King and the Griggs presents Miss A's Hardware in lane number three. And on the read. outside, Graham Trucking American Dream with Corey Peabody as they 20 get 20 seconds to the top end of the course into Freedom Equipment Rentals turn number three on News Radio 610 K1A and 610K1A.com. And at Buffalo Brothers turn Ten. number four. And they are on the front stretch. Jimmy King Five, in lane number four, three is going to fall back a little two. bit. One. Looks like a clean one. start. It's going to be J. Michael Kelly in lane number two in the lead. Watch Bernard on the inside. King on the outside. Bernard's falling back in the Alberto a little bit. Two boats heading into turn number one for Agri Service. Kelly's got to get down here first with about a three-boat lead. Keep in mind, guys, the start is under review. Oh, Ooh, that will make things interesting. But the King and the U3 on the outside started to gain some ground on the 12 with J. Michael Kelly. Jeff Bernard in the 1918, a distant third. Up the back stretch, J. Michael Kelly with the lead by about a half a rooster tail. You can see Jimmy King on the outside, not really gaining ground up the back stretch. Nice run by the 1918, the Obordo Super Salami in third place for Jeff Bernard, and Corey Peabody has fallen back in the 98 Graham Trucking American Dream into Buffalo Brothers turn number four. J. Michael Kelly at the exit pin now. And there comes Jimmy, Jimmy King in the three, the Terminator. Bernard in the Super Salami has fallen back. A couple of rooster tails now. It's a half a rooster tail lane for JMK in the Graham, heading down the front stretch. Jimmy King in the Terminator out on his right hip. Solid boat ride for JMK, and he's got about half a rooster. We got a, got a one-minute penalty on J. Michael. Oh, no. So this is Jimmy King's race to win. If he can hold off the 1918. J. Mike, a uh, little bit outside of lane one, I think, trying to find smoother waters, but the three knows he doesn't need to run as hard as he could need to. Yeah, radio crews have probably told him that it is a one-minute penalty on the 12 Graham Trucking, J. Michael Kelly. He jumped the gun. He was a little bit early at the start. It was extremely close, but the video review showed that he was over early. 
So J. Michael Kelly on the course is your race leader coming out of Buffalo Brothers turn number four. Back about a rooster tail now is the three. Griggs presents Miss Ace Hardware with Jimmy King, both coming across the Bosch Thermidor flying start finish line. Kelly's flying it down here. He knows he's got the penalty, but he's still going to keep his foot in it. These things sometimes get reviewed, and he's packing an awful lot of air into the boat. Kevin, keep an eye on him. He is locking the sponsors as he down, bounces around on his turn two. Flying on the inside, not quite tight to the buoy line, but still lane one. And the three coming up behind him, a couple of rooster tails behind. 1918 uh, coming out of turn two right now, too. He's also on the inside. Everybody's sort of getting in a little bit of a line between about lane one or lane two. So J. Michael Kelly, a little bit early at the start with a one-minute penalty. Now with a two rooster tail lead over Jimmy King and the Griggs presents Miss Aid Hardware coming into Freedom Equipment Rental turn number three. J. Michael Kelly now at the exit pin of our turn number four for Buffalo Brothers. He is the leader on the race course, but he was early at the start. And it looks like everybody's kind of backed off a little bit on the speed, knowing that their positions are fairly well settled. And white, white flag flies as Kelly flies. He's really got a lot of air underneath that race boat. He's still driving it hard as he's to the entrance. Maybe he'll come down. But, Kevin, let's follow our leader. And he's right in front of me right now. The Terminator oh, oh, oh. living up to its name. Oh, the 12 bouncing entirely out of the water for a moment. wonder if J. Michael Kelly is going to try to see if he can get a minute ahead of exactly. Corey Peabody. See if he can get Corey Peabody to be a minute behind. And then he snags third. But it is Jimmy King flying down the back stretch. Our leader. Yep, he's trying to beat that one-minute penalty by hitting it hard. Yeah, I think as a Peabody doesn't have the same level of speed, so it takes him a little more than a minute to get around this course. So, uh, J. Michael Kelly, if he can get to about three-quarters of a lap lead, he might get that minute uh, that he needs to be in front of Peabody. Let so, me know when he crosses. Wow, a lot of compression noise for J. Michael Kelly in the Graham trucking in the oh, 12 coming across the start finish the line Terminator. oh the Terminator went off plane it's gonna be Bernard and the uh, super salami moving into first place oh what a tough break for Jimmy King in the Griggs Ace Hardware Terminator the three dead in the water so it's the 1918 with Jeff Bernard claiming the checkered flag wow that is huge and Corey Peabody is coming up the back stretch so he will be second. Uh, here comes J. Well, Michael Kelly coming up on him hard. Yeah, it's uh, depending on that minute penalty that JMK has to see where we, where we finish on the clock. 40 seconds. Tell me when Corey crosses. Corey Peabody's at the exit pin of Buffalo Brothers turn number four, and JMK is going to try to put him a lap down coming up the front stretch. He's this running an extra lap. Tell me when he crosses. Well, you got J. Michael Kelly crossing again, and now Corey Peabody now. I got it at 58 seconds. What'd you get? Oh, my we, goodness. We got two of us with 58 seconds. Oh, two to seconds. Him to get over a minute. We're going to have to wait till the official, uh, the officials write it up, but what a horrible turn of events for Jimmy King and the piston-powered boat. They, a, that, was, that was their race to win. That, it really was, and... Uh, the disappointing for the Terminator, they had that, that was going to, you know, almost about lock them into the final. And now they're not going to get anything out of this heat, and they're going to be battling with some of the folks down in the 5, 6, 7 range to see if they can stay in that final heat. Wow, what an amazing turn of events. First we get J. Michael Kelly early at the start-finish line in the 12 gram trucking. And Jimmy King uh, really wasn't pressing it that hard and ends up having some sort of catastrophic failure on the final lap in the final turn and unable to get the checkered flag. Well, and, and then it'll be Jeff Bernard, and the 3B winner. Even before that, the 440 didn't uh, get going either. Right. So tough it break for Dustin Eccles, who last season was perfect. Every heat that he started, he finished. Guys, we just got official word down here, and I know this is Heat 3B that just ran, but Heat 3A is clean. Everybody has cleared the tech truck, so put those good numbers. Yeah, that finish order that we had in pencil, you can go ahead and put that in pen. You guys were talking about the three, the uh, Griggs presents Miss Ace Hardware, all the way up at the far end of the race course from us, but I'll tell you what, down here atop the pit tower, it sounded like a fireworks show was going on up there with all the popping going on. That's really a well, tough and, break. And Brad, I honestly thought that it was compression noise coming out of the 12, but instead it must have been noise from the three even farther 
up into the west end turn that we were hearing. 